What if the traditional definition of success and happiness isn't the only path to fulfillment? It's a question that might seem unusual, even radical to some. Yet, it's a question that's becoming increasingly relevant in a world that's rapidly changing. For as long as we can remember, society has painted a pretty clear picture of what success looks like. You know the drill. A well-paying job, a high social status, a big house, a fancy car. These are the symbols of achievement we've been conditioned to strive for, to base our worth on. And of course, the pursuit of happiness is often tied to these material gains. But let's take a moment to question this. Is this one-size-fits-all definition of success and happiness really fulfilling? Does it cater to our individual needs, our unique dreams and aspirations? Or does it just create a rat race where we're forever chasing after the next big thing, the next promotion, the next upgrade? Challenging these traditional norms is not about rejecting wealth or comfort. It's about questioning whether these should be the ultimate measures of success and happiness. It's about exploring alternatives and realizing that there's more than one path to fulfillment. Enter the concept of the freedom lifestyle. It's a term you might not be familiar with, but it's one that's gaining traction. The freedom lifestyle is about redefining success on your own terms. It's about finding happiness in the things that truly matter to you, whether that's spending time with loved ones, pursuing a passion, or simply enjoying the present moment. This lifestyle doesn't equate success with material wealth or social status. Instead, it values personal growth, meaningful relationships, passion, and purpose. It's about living life on your own terms, not according to someone else's idea of what's right or wrong. But what if there's another way, a path less traveled, that leads to a different kind of success and happiness? By asking this question, we open ourselves up to the possibility of a life that's not defined by societal norms, but by our own unique vision of fulfillment. Meet individuals who have turned their back on the traditional rat race and embraced the freedom lifestyle. Let's begin with Jane, who was once a high-powered executive in a bustling city. She had it all, or so it seemed. The corner office, the hefty paycheck, the respect of her colleagues. But inside, she felt a gnawing emptiness. Jane yearned for something more than just financial success. She yearned for freedom. So she made the bold decision to leave her corporate gig and become a digital nomad. She traded her business suits for a backpack, her corner office for a laptop, and her cityscape for the world. The challenges were many. She had to learn new skills, adapt to different cultures, and manage her time and finances on her own. But the rewards far outweighed these difficulties. Today, Jane is happier, healthier, and more fulfilled than she's ever been. Next, we have John, a minimalist at heart. He was once a shopaholic, always chasing the next big thing. But he realized that he was merely accumulating possessions without truly appreciating them. So, John decided to simplify his life. He downsized his home, donated most of his belongings, and started focusing on experiences rather than material goods. The transition wasn't easy, but it was worth it. Now he finds joy in the little things and lives a more purposeful and contented life. Lastly, we have Emily and Ethan, a couple who chose to live off-grid. Tired of the noise and clutter of urban life, they built a self-sufficient homestead in the countryside. They grow their own food, generate their own power, and live in harmony with nature. The journey was arduous with countless trials and errors, but they persevered. Today they enjoy a peaceful, sustainable, and fulfilling lifestyle that most only dream of. As you can see, the road less traveled often leads to the most rewarding journeys. What does a freedom lifestyle look like and how can it redefine success and happiness? This question might seem daunting at first, but let's break it down together. The freedom lifestyle is a concept that is as diverse as the individuals who choose to pursue it. It's not a one-size-fits-all model, but rather a framework for living that is guided by a few key principles. Autonomy, simplicity, and fulfillment. Autonomy is all about having the freedom to make your own choices. It's about being the architect of your own life and not being bound by societal expectations or norms. It's about deciding what success means to you and pursuing that vision with fervor and determination. 
Simplicity, on the other hand, is a principle that challenges the traditional notion that more is better. It's about understanding that happiness isn't derived from material possessions, but rather from experiences and relationships. It's about valuing quality over quantity and realizing that sometimes less truly is more. Fulfillment is perhaps the most personal aspect of the freedom lifestyle. It's about finding purpose and meaning in what you do and not just going through the motions. It's about pursuing passions and interests that ignite your spirit and not just following a predetermined path because it's what you're supposed to do. In essence, the freedom lifestyle is about prioritizing experiences over material possessions and valuing personal growth over societal status. It's about living life on your own terms and finding joy and satisfaction in the journey rather than the destination. And while the freedom lifestyle might not be for everyone, for those who choose to pursue it, it can offer a sense of fulfillment and happiness that is truly unparalleled. It's about redefining what success means to you and finding your own unique path to happiness. The freedom lifestyle isn't about escaping life, but rather about not letting life escape us. So are you ready to embark on a journey towards a more fulfilling and authentic life? The choice, as always, is yours. Ways. So how can we redefine success and happiness outside of the traditional norms? Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've explored today. We've seen how the traditional definitions of success and happiness often fall short, leaving us trapped in a rat race that offers little satisfaction or fulfillment. In contrast, the freedom lifestyle presents a refreshing alternative. It challenges us to redefine our measures of success and happiness, to step away from the societal norms and expectations, and to craft a life that is genuinely our own. The key to this lifestyle, as we've discussed, is autonomy. The freedom to make our own choices, to follow our own path, is invaluable. In a world where so many aspects of our lives are dictated by societal pressures and expectations, the ability to assert our own will and make decisions based on our own desires and values is not just a luxury, it's a necessity for true happiness. Next, we've emphasized the importance of simplicity. In a world that's increasingly complex and hectic, the freedom lifestyle encourages us to strip back, to focus on what's truly important. It's not about having more, but about appreciating what we have, about finding joy in the simple pleasures of life. And finally, we've talked about fulfillment. Success and happiness are not simply about reaching a certain status or accumulating wealth. They're about feeling fulfilled, about finding purpose and meaning in our lives. The freedom lifestyle encourages us to pursue our passions, to engage in work that we love and that contributes to a greater good. So I encourage you all to question your own definitions of success and happiness. Are they serving you well or are they leading you down a path that doesn't truly align with your values and desires? Remember, success and happiness are not destinations but journeys and sometimes the road less traveled offers the most rewarding journey of all.